gravel bikes. They're just mountain bikes from 10 or 20 years ago. Those are your words, not mine. So to see if that's actually the case, I'm gonna upgrade an old mountain bike into a modern gravel bike to see just how much of a good or bad idea that really is. First things first, why are we doing this? Well, it's something that I've wanted to do for a little while now. There's plenty of you guys and girls at home converting old bikes. And then finally, I managed to convince Shimano to get behind the idea. So it's thanks to them, I'm gonna be using as much of their GRX gravel group set as I can throw at an old mountain bike. And then we're gonna do all this across three weekly episodes. So my plan is to find and buy a suitable bike, work out all of the parts that I need to order, and to help keep the cost down, I'm gonna reuse as many parts and as much stuff as I can find here at GCN Megabase. And also because, well, you know that global bike part shortage? Yeah, well, that's still not quite over yet, so we'll make do where we can. Right, let's find that bike. You've got loads of places to look. You've got eBay, Facebook Marketplace, local cycling groups, local newspapers, and some bike shops even sell used bikes. But because I'm like most people and I want the easy option, I'm gonna dive straight online and see what I can find. But before that, we need to know what kind of bike we're looking for. Well, oh, this is a triple Venn diagram. I just drew this up quickly to help me choose. So first up, we're gonna to need to choose a bike type. This is easy, I choose mountain bike. Then we're gonna to need to have a country of origin for our brand of bike. Do we choose Italian, German, American, Spanish, French, maybe even British? Well, we want the bike to be fast, have a good build quality, and a certain degree of flair to the design. So we can rule out the UK and choose Italia. Then we need to choose our braking system. We want the brakes to be reliable and work in all conditions. Easy. Disc brake. So by my calculations, we need to have an Italian Mountain bike with disc brakes. Easy. Right, with that out of the way, let's get to finding our bike. <sighs> eBay, ITA, MTB, disc. No, 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 no. Yes, check this out. Yeah, um, can you deliver? Okay, yeah, cool, thanks. Right. So this is what I've got. Oh my golly, it's an incredible bicycle. So, Italian, well it's a Pinarello, so check. Mountain bike, check. Disc brakes, check. Currently, it's set with a triple chaining at the front, nine speed at the back, we've got disc brakes, flat bar, suspension fork, accessories still on the bike. You know, it's pretty reasonable, but most of the components on here are gonna be completely redundant to me because we're gonna be upgrading everything. So, let's get my notepad, make a list, and compile what we need in order to convert and upgrade this bike to a gravel bike. So, let's start with wheels. The bike's currently fitted with 26 inch wheels, which aren't gonna be that much use to me trying to convert this to a gravel bike. I would have gone with a 700C wheel, however, I don't think we've got the clearance on the crown of the fork nor on the rear of the frame here. So what I'm gonna do is go with a 650B wheel, so slightly smaller, and then I can pick a tire relative to the amount of clearance and the gap that I've got on the frame. Next up, group set, Shimano GRX, easy, come on. So ordinarily, I presume it will be a lot easier to fit a mechanical group set onto this bike. It's set up with all the cable routing, all the stops on the frame. That would be simple. However, I'm not gonna take the simple option. I want to install a DI2 electronic shifting group set onto the bike, so that is what I'm going to do. Now, I'm sure I'm going to run into some complications installing that, but I'm prepared for the challenge, so that's going to be a fun set. In terms of the handlebars, we're going to be running a drop bar, so I'll we'll use a pro flared handlebar and a matching stem. Saddle and saddle post or seat post, we're going to upgrade that, something a little bit more modern and sleek than what is currently installed onto the bike, and then we we'll also run the bike in a one by setup. A couple of reasons for this. I think it's a particularly good choice for when building a gravel bike. And also, it removes any sort of faffing and complications in terms of setting up the front derailleur. So the bike has cost 500 of your finest Great British pounds, which when you take into account the fact that many of the components are either new or only showing very minimal signs of wear, and the fact that finding a Pinarello Pina FV1 is actually quite difficult. I think it's, uh, it's not too bad, I think I've done all right. 
So, all I'm going to need to do is get inside and get ordering some parts. From ordering the parts to get this bike ready, it's now time to strip this bike down. A lock and lights. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna scratch it. Bloody hell. Any moment now. It's a long boy. There's a long, genuine long boy. There we go. Hope you enjoyed the start of this mini video series, and to make sure you don't miss out on the next two episodes, best bet click on that subscribe button and then hit the bell to make sure you're notified. Or you can just message Ollie directly on 077 457 and he'll send each and every single one of you an individual message to let you know when the next video is live. See you next week.